so people um, basically a special request from uh, somebody I, I did a, a video in, uh, in Dutch and in uh, German um, where I analyzed a little bit uh, some details of the Gleason uh, new standard map of the world and um, okay I, uh, I owe it to all my uh, English um, uh, subscribers that I, I do the, the same in English as well so so what, what, what is that video about it is um, uh, looking at the Gleason map as a, um, a possible map for a uh, flat earth um, it, it does contain some of the prerequisites prerequisites yes, yes uh, for being an accurate map um, for instance, every distance from the North Pole to certain points on this map is accurate. That is uh, one of the properties of this map. And the other one which makes it um, a very interesting map is that Gleason divided uh, the path of the sun and, and these lines here in 24 so every line represents um, an hour at the time between two lines is an hour the time the Sun takes to go round and that is uh, interesting and what um, uh, Gleason then did is he basically uh, gave us some information on what the Sun spot would be on the earth eh? because uh, uh, it's also a absolute given that on a flat earth the Sun is not a ball but a somewhat torch like disk that shines down and creates a very special kidney shaped form and uh, that should then explain uh, the Sun at certain times during the year and in this moment we are looking at the summer solstice, solstice. Um, that is when we uh, just a couple of days ago when we had the longest day in the north we had 24 hours of Sun in the Arctic Circle and if we have a look at uh, let me see this is probably Tropic of Cancer so in between here halfway we will have um, North America Northern Europe and this light part basically can now be used to see how much sunlight we have during a day and if we go along here it starts halfway but let's first begin here is one hour two hour three hour four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15 15 and a half hours of sunlight and that is pretty much on what we see so this is a reasonably good um, representation of the Sun spot uh, and it also represent clearly the time we have sunlight now here's the thing that's where Gleason and the flat earth fail at the December solstice we know from experience that by visiting South Africa or Australia that basically it's the same and in December they have 14 hours of Sun in Australia especially around 15 hours at Tasmania and if we look at the way our friend Gleason represents it um, at 60 degrees here the Sun uh, which is uh, again the kidney shape does not first of all it does not shine through the whole South Pole which is of course a problem but let's forget that there is an Antarctica then uh, at least the solar time should be correct and that means I need uh, at this 60 degrees I need to have 14 hours of Sun and what do we have we have let's follow it here follow it with me here it starts it's one hour it's two hours it's three hours it's four hours 
five hours, six hours, maybe seven, but basically six hours of sunlight on the December solstice, the 23rd of December. And we know that is not correct. It is twice as long. And that basically proves that uh, this map is also wrong. Because in order to have 14 hours of sun, this whole spot needs to be different and basically would go also over the North Pole again. And we all know that it is 24 hours of darkness. So that is what he tried to draw here, eh? 24 hours of darkness at the North Pole. But um, even the daytime in the North is not correct, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yeah, well, 8 hours, probably. But it's even longer than in Tasmania, in Australia. And of course, that cannot be correct. I mean, we all know that it's not correct. So uh, this map, although it says scientifically and practically correct, it is obviously not. It is a blatant lie. Um, so for, for the English friends that asked for me to make a translation of that uh, other video, uh, I hope you like it. Uh, please subscribe um, if you like it. If you want to know more about the, the lies being told around the flat earth. And uh, I will try to uh, continue debunking them. Because I find it just dishonest uh, the way people uh, uh, try to make actually make money of gullible uh, people. Uh, or religious people who just want to have some confirmation of their belief. But they abuse a flat earth for it and it's just terrible so um thank you guys and uh, see you next time